The smell of mothballs and mold fill your mouth and nostrils as you peel the book open. The book moans and groans. The pages are yellow and the old coffee stained and the corners are burnt. The cover is slick and the exception of the couple of rips and tears. The book has no title, no offer, no edition. No illustrations, no critics, no fans, no beginning, no end. No one knows it exists. You flip through the ancient pages, crippled and rotten. Nothing but symbols, illegible, printed on random spots of the page. Asterica, stars, triangles, hearts, eyes, algo text, numbers, binary, pig Latin. Curse of the text is smeared, unreadable. You manage to decipher tiny letters at the bottom of the page, but why? It repeats the binary translation into, but why? The pig Latin translates into, but why? Even the cursive says, but why? No pencil marks on the page of the book, no pen or marker, no crayon or no paint. They are not worthy of its fragile state. No human hand can touch the pages without yelping in pain, no animal, no monster, no god. They are unworthy of, the, of its spell wraps within each symbol. You flip for the page to the end, your hand burning, tearing, streaming, dripping onto the page. The tears instantly evaporating, disappeared, vanished, liquid churned in your stomach. Your fingernails begin to fall off. Your teeth turn into shades of yellow, then gray, then black. They fall onto your purple tongue. Your eyelids flip and then slowly fall to the floor, blood replacing your tears. You feel your bones clicking and clacking, breaking and snapping. The skin around your throat tightening. You stare at the book, the pages mocking you, the Zalgo text coming off the page. Text floating in the air, vanishing when the tips of you of your bleeding naked fingers dripping, grazing them. They zip into your chest where you won't budge. Your hair begins to fall out, unlike it until it's gone, your skin turns a shade of yellow. The same yellow as the pages below. You tighten grasp on the page on the of the book, making your hands turn burn more. Your hand becomes one with the book, turning it into a page. They are fused into the bindings. You lose your clothes, whoa, there goes your lunch. All over the desks except on the book. Whatever is happening to you, it wants to get, get all liquids out of you. You try to vomit until nothing comes out. You begin to urinate until your bladder is empty. Your nose begins to draw, to run, dribble down your, your lips. Your sinuses are clear, your nostrils are clear. Next thing you know, you drool everywhere. You drool until your mouth is dry, dry of any more spit. You scramble away from the book, but it's glued to your hand, your middle finger with the door handle struggle to open it you will you are sweating all over next thing you know you can't sweat any longer you sit in front of the door sobbing you can't escape from what you have started you try to cry but your tears are gone as well the only thing that remains is your blood the blood rolling down your neck dripping down your chin oozes from small slits in your skin where your fingernails used to be. Splashing out from every sweat gland on the palm of your hand, your private parts, after ten minutes of this, you fall on the floor, lifeless, spitless, vomitless, sweatless, tearless, urineless. Now this is where it gets easy. The book slowly processes your body into its pages until you're completely gone. You have been turned into yet another damn page. The endless book. With your last bit of life, you manage to write a small message in Zolgo binary. 
upon your page. But why? The police comes days later and enters your man cave. They report that they find nothing but a book with no title, sitting on a desk with no trace of anything. One policeman after another disappears mysteriously after reading the book. The book is basically being passed around to one or another day after day, week after week, year after year. The book never lives or dies.